Hi, in the previous lecture we've designed our day-to-day -day operations tab and in this lecture we will design our box tab. So let's start. First of all make sure that you've opened your UI file in designer and move to tab 2. Then now we need to enable the user to add box, edit box or delete box. So first of all we're gonna need a tab widget. Yeah. You may wonder that we are using two tab widgets, but don't worry. We will hide this when we connect our UI design to our Python code. So don't worry. First of all, we need a tab for adding a new box, and we need another tab for editing or deleting the box. Okay. So, so here we need to enable the user to add new box. Let's open Sublime or Outline file. So from here, our recent. Yeah, this is our file. So here we have, this is the information of our book. We have the title, code, description, category, price, author, and the publisher. So we need all of this information to be born here in our design. So first of all, we need to import line edit for adding the book title. We also need another line edit for book code we need a place for book description so here we're gonna get no take a spirit lane take a spirit yeah we need a place for category, price, author, and the publisher. So we can see, we can take this. So we need a combo box for category. Category, price, author, publisher. So this is the category. The author, the publisher and the place for price so now we can take this also sorry Let's select all of those move them down yeah just like this this is also Let's move this yeah. just like this. We need a push button here. Save this data. So let's say it's save. And we need label. This is book title. Sorry. Yeah. And here let's get a new label for book good. And another one for book price. Yeah, just like this. Yeah. Now let's save this and let's change this step font from view show property editor and here in this title we're gonna change this font to our font 
Seja o Yoi. This font here. And let's make it bigger. Yeah, like this. This also. Like this and this also. Yeah. Let's save this and let's change this button front. Yeah, just like this. Yeah. So now we have a window for adding a new box to our system. We need to enable the user also to edit or delete new box. Okay. So we will take all of this information. So we need a label for this also. Sorry for this. This is category, and this is let's say author, and this is publisher. Yeah, just like this. So let's take all of these widgets, copy. Select all of them, then click, right click, copy, and here paste all of them. Yeah, like this. And let's take this button also. First of all, the user will search for book using book title and to do this we need to enable the user to search so we're gonna select all of this information like this yeah. just like this let's copy those two widgets also and the put them back here and we need another button for search search so now the user will enter the book title then hit the, the search button then all the book information will be in those widgets okay this is save and we need another button actually for deleting so that we can delete this book delete yeah. let's save our design let's save this and let's press ctrl r if you're using windows and if you're using mac press command r then this is our ui now we can enter new book like book title, book description, book code, category, author, publisher, and price then we hit save then if we wanna edit this book we can go to the edit tab we enter the book title then we hit search then we will be enabled to edit all this book information then we hit save or we can delete this book using this book title okay so let's show Robert editor and we need to change this tab 1 and tab 2 so here we're gonna add new book and then here we're gonna type edit or delete a book yeah let's save our file let's run it so now we can add a new book or edit or delete a book okay 
Now we've designed the first tab, the ETD operations. We've also designed our box tab. We can add new book, audit or delete book. We need another tab for users so that we can add a new user, change user password and so on. And we will do this in the next lecture. See you in the next lecture.